So on another day at another time, this would have been a pretty epic spot. Still just beautiful. But uh, there's like a mountain range. You can use your imagination. Just go back with me to what it was like in Glacier National Park the entire time. There's this beautiful mountain range back here with snow on it. Do have a toilet, picnic table. Don't see trash, water, anything else. Well, lots of water, but no water source or dump here. Yeah, so another day, another time. You can stay up to seven days here. We would at least stay a few. Hoping today we can at least not get stuck. That's kind of my short term goal. And then keep it moving is goal number two. You ready to go? You ready to do a trip? What's on your head? <laughs> Let me guess, these leggings are new. And their size, hold on, I'm psychic. 4T. Our main limiting factor, since we're boondocking a lot with what we're doing, um, is water. There are some apps that say they can find water. We found that there's not that many spots on the apps or they're not very accurate. So sometimes if you just ask, um, gas stations will say, yeah, we got a spigot in the back and you can use it. So there's one on the back of this place. I'm gonna hook up to this. We're gonna top off on our water, fill up the tanks, and then we're gonna keep moving. And we've also added on more hose. We did have one 30 foot hose which is worn out and ready to be replaced. And now we've got 225s. Because we knew there might be situations like this where we need more length and, um, I don't know, going to Alaska just seemed like a good idea to have, have some extra hose uh, to keep that water tank filled. So we've learned that downtown Denver is a no-go in the Airstream, but uh, downtown Great Falls, not that bad. We stopped by the Children's Museum. What'd you do in the museum? Did you ride a buffalo? No. Dance on a dinosaur? No. Play with blocks? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and what else did you do? I played with babies. We played doctor in oh. grocery store. Uh, we rode on a ship, played Legos. These are some really great stops just because they're educational and <laughs> <laughs> there's tons for her to do. When she gets bored of one thing, there's like 15 more things to do. And with our pass, it's really affordable and just a great way to just travel and hit up all these places for her. You guys have watched know that I like my regular schedule of working in the morning, every morning. That just has not worked and probably will not work. <laughs> We're doing these extremely long hauls. Uh, so I've actually been trying to stay up late, working late, just working when I can. So I stayed in here and worked while they went into the Children's Museum. It has been trickier to have a regular schedule, but uh, like a lot of people on the road, I mean, we're working while we're moving around too. So we gotta balance it. Train. Pretty typical morning for us. Even though we uh, slept in a Walmart parking lot, we each went for a run, took a shower, made some coffee. Translate's watching Curious George. So typically, um, we'd spend the night, zip out of here in the morning, and uh, move on to our next spot. But Great Falls is like the last big city before we cross the border into Canada. So we're trying to get a few more things sorted out. Buy what we need at Walmart, which Montana has no sales tax, by the way, which is awesome. <laughs> and then Hisley said her teeth are hurting. Have your teeth been hurting? No. Well, now you're saying no because you know you're going to the dentist, don't you? <laughs> well, she just mentioned a couple times that her teeth hurt, so I don't know if it was just being sensitive, but with us about to cross into into Canada and being Alaska, I would rather just get that checked out before then. We usually do our routine visits when we're back in our home base, and she's due for a check in December, but we'll just go ahead and head this off. Checking off stuff on our to-do list. Uh, dentist is done. How was the dentist, Hensley? Good. Good? <laughs> Mommy feels that we're not good. It hurt me. The 
<laughs> yeah, he, he wasn't, um... Yeah, I don't know if the pediatric dentist should have been a pediatric dentist. He, um... Marissa said he was pretty rough, so... You know, sometimes you might have to see a doctor or a dentist on the road, and you don't know what you're gonna get, and that was... That was rough. Yeah, he was, um... Reminds me, of, like, I don't know, she's... The way she talked, like an old military doctor or something like that, right? Just what he put her foot, his foot on her chest and... <laughs> <laughs> well, not that much, but... Not that rough, but, uh, yeah. Was, so, she she wasn't liking it, and it he was, was saying, this doesn't hurt. Yeah, it just wasn't gentle. Um, yeah, and telling her that it wasn't hurting her. When, obviously, at least she really, really didn't like it. Whether it was hurting her or not was irrelevant, she, I guess. She but, was telling him it was hurting, yeah. so, I don't know. Anyway. So we're done with that. She has no she, cavities. No cavities. It's um, all good. Yeah, so that was an ordeal. I guess she was just having some sensitivity, so. Gonna call that a win. We're about to head into Canada. You ready to go into Canada? Yeah. Probably not today. I think we're thinking tomorrow, we hope. So as far as prepping, we did buy some Reflectix we've been testing out. Um, this is the thin $3.50 stuff doubled up. So I'm either gonna double it up or buy some of the thick. Ooh, so still testing that out. Is Reflectix the same? like the car yeah that's yeah it's just the car stuff you put on your uh, windshield to keep the heat out is all it is basically so you can get it in any walmart um not very expensive you can get one the size of a windshield for like four bucks so marissa's getting lunch ready We're trying to eat up the last of our uh, <laughs> produce we made better timing than i had thought thought we would so we have more food than i wanted to have at this point and we can't cross the border with a lot of it so it's like clean out the fridge day and so i'm not going to be super technical and give all the details of what can or can't go across the border because it's always changing but in general um we're trying to not have any fresh produce fresh meat and yes i know you can have some of that stuff if you declare it and it's this or that but we're just we're not having eggs we're not having fresh produce we're not having meat and when they ask me questions i'm gonna say nope on all that we do have some frozen stuff that's in commercially sealed bags that we bought it in from what i understand that's going to be okay so we're hoping to just no dairy no dairy we're hoping to pull up to one of the smaller border crossings they're going to ask us some questions and then we're going to be able to move on no animals no animals <laughs> um but we're in a cargo van I've heard from Tennessee as far as ammo and guns. I don't know. We haven't had good luck with our van as far as like random screenings. We did have to go through a security check to get in here. Yeah, if you want a guaranteed search on your way into the Hoover Dam, drive a cargo van. <laughs> they like, like the four vehicles in front of us got to go straight through. They saw our van and said, yeah, pull over to the side. And they opened all the doors, looked inside. <laughs> had another um, random screening for the uh, cargo what van for us so. <laughs> our hopes are not high are on you us saying because we're from tennessee and we're in a cargo van that we're gonna get <laughs> we'll see <laughs> we have the airstream behind us i think that kind of balances it out but we're with a van by itself and if there's a random screening like we've gotten screened every time So dropping off some mail. I've got to think it'd be easier to do that now than do it once we're in Canada. <laughs> Still just running around doing errands. The original plan as far as our cell phones was to get Marissa's number swapped over to a monthly plan on AT&T. So we have AT&T and Verizon, and then I'm 99% sure that our grandfathered unlimited Verizon hotspot is not gonna work in Canada. So we want to have some extra data too. So we thought, well, why not get that data with AT&T since I've heard the coverage is decent and we kind of maybe fill in some gaps that Verizon doesn't have. But we couldn't swap Marissa's number over. That uh, has been my number like forever. Yeah, I, and I get it. A, yeah. I've never had a different number. It's such a hassle and I'm very sentimental, so. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like the idea of having a fresh number. I get these like telemarketer calls like twice a day. So I can't believe somebody hasn't done something about that. I may eventually just swap my phone over to AT&T. For now it actually works out that I bought this Android phone because I'm going to keep that as my primary with the Pixel. And then I'm going to use my iPhone 6S Plus. We put the uh, AT&T SIM card in here. And so as needed, we can just pull out this phone and we can use it um, to make calls, text, and eight gigs of data for 40 bucks a month, which to me, a-okay. If you have questions about internet on the road, highly recommend not listening to me. <laughs> you, want, you want to go with rvmobileinternet.com, uh, Chris and Sheree, 
they know their stuff. They know way more than I'll ever forget when it comes to having internet on the road. Kinsley, you think you got enough dolls in here? <laughs> so we are continuing the theme of winging it. This is uh, Elk Park or something like that, but it's got like a beautiful view of the water over here. So I kind of thought about today, not right or wrong, because we loved our Class A. And I think if we had something like 40, 42 feet, it'd be really hard to be traveling around the way we are right now. Um, and it's been nice. It's been nice to just whipping in places and doing what we're doing. We're not the most um, advanced planners. <laughs> That'd we, be a nice way to say it, yeah. yeah, for us, we prefer just to kind of let that be more relaxed and just kind of more go with the flow is kind of the, our travel style that we've gotten to over the years. Well, and I think not having a plan isn't relaxing for a lot of people, and so that's why there's a plan for a lot. And, and we are, we're stressed sometimes because we don't have a plan for a place, mm -hmm. um, but then there's times where we're like, oh so glad we got to whip in here and test this place out and, mm -hmm. or spend extra time or whatever it ends up being and thank you so much you guys that have sent us tips and tricks yes, and guidelines we, thank you. we don't want to make it sound like we haven't read anything we we definitely have been reading about the bear spray and the mosquitoes and upgrading the tires and <laughs> what we need to crossing the border i mean but we're just doing those things as needed as we get close to those things so we're about to go into canada um, and so that's where stopping here and making all these kind of um adjustments and changes and getting a few more things done before we go over take place. I think tonight we'll probably, there's a Walmart on each side of town. Um, so I think we're gonna hit the Walmart that's closer to the north side of town on our way out. Um, get some rest there. And then we'll just uh, keep heading north. Till Canada, next time. Canada tomorrow. <laughs> Canada bound. I've never been to Canada. I've been over there once, but um, we did excited. not spend much time there. And we did not do any of the stuff we're about to do. So this is super exciting. Yeah. Until next time, catch you guys later.